All right, let's do a quick tutorial on setting up a uh, website in Builderall. Go under Builders. You are going to go under the Pixel Perfect. You don't have any sites yet, right? This would be your first one. Hit New Website. Uh, for this part, we're just going to be picking out a website, right? So you want to go and you want to pick out a website. Um, go through the different templates. You know, you can use the left side to help find something. There's always new templates um, being loaded up. There's lead magnets and funnels and, you know, all sorts of things. The bottom line is it doesn't take a lot to really do anything here. Um, you could change everything. So even, let's just say, for instance, we're going to just do this one quickly, okay? So we're going to edit this one. First thing that we're going to do is we're just going to save it. This is the template that we're going to use. We've decided, we went through them, and so we will save it when it opens up. Now, websites are built here with mostly banners. So just think banners, okay? So when this loads, all we want to do is basically save it. All right. And when we save it, we're going to name it. We could just hit it first for the first website. And then what we'll do is that is actually sending it to your, your sites. So we'll go back again. We'll close this up. We are going to go up, back to Builders, back to the Pixel Perfect. We should have it under my site now because your new website was sent to my, my site. So now I could really start editing it. And then just remember to save it, I would say like every 10 minutes. So here is our website now. It'll come to this section. You won't have these others like I have. I have a bunch of them going on. But you'll have this one. You'll come down. Just so that you know as far as connecting a domain when you're ready to do that. If you buy a domain off of GoDaddy or Namecheap, you'll have to direct it with a DNS management. There's another video on that. But you would click here and hit um, Connect Domain. So that's how you would go through that. You'd also be able to delete the website if you didn't want it. So let's go into edit. All right. And then we're going to start editing it. So it's built on banners. So just remember thinking like this whole thing is in different sections. And you can add new sections. You can get rid of sections. You can change each section. So as far as this, like the whole block, if you don't like it, move it around. You can do any of that. You could make it smaller. Let me just grab that, right? You can make it bigger, um, grab each line, move that around, get rid of a line. You don't like this line, right click it. You'll have an ability to change the text, which we can go through. Um, you can animate it, you know, go through these different buttons and see what you can do. You also have the ability to just delete it. You don't want it there, so that'll delete it. You don't like this heading per se. When you um, are adding text to Builderall, you will just hit this button here and you will add text. And that's how you add the text. Now these settings here, there's like H1, H2, H3. These will all be changed by the T above. So let's go to that T. When you add T and you click it like I want to add text here, it's not going to work. This is just the setting. So say, for instance, you didn't want H1 to be Montresat Bold, and this is the mobile over here, but this is the desktop. So what you would do is then change the font size. You know, you just change the font size here, but I'm going to bring it back up to 50. And I can also change the actual font itself. So this way, rather than having to change fonts each time, think about each website. Most websites are going to have about three different fonts, for instance. So you want to set the H1, the H2, the H3, or if you don't want the bigger one, just set like H1, maybe an H3, and then the paragraph itself. You decide from here what fonts you want to use. There's quite a bit of them, all right? And I would honestly say that if you don't have the font here that you actually like, you can always add it in as an image with a transparent background. If you go to Dr. Business Builder, that's DR Business Builder, you'll see my website. The top of it has Sharon Mack, 
and that's done with an image because I wanted to do it with a script and I didn't um, like the, the scripts that they had here. That being said, as far as importing a, um, you know, different fonts, I want to do that. And the reason for that is these are the default fonts. Some of those fancy fonts, they're not picked up by the different browsers. So although you make your website look beautiful, when it goes onto a different browser, it's going to default to these fonts. So I would stick with these fonts and anything, which is a ton of them, honestly, there's so many of them. But if by instance, for instance, you want to add something else, then do it as an image. So that takes care of fonts. Let's see what else we have in that, um, just so that you know, we'll go straight down. Pages. This is each set. This is one layout, all right? So if by chance you wanted to do a membership area, you would have to add a layout to lock it in so that um, this is all locked in. I'm going to go down. These are the different pages. Home, About, Services. With each of these, you want to start adding, you know, descriptions and all. This is going to help you with your keyword. You can upload an image. When you upload an image, it should have your keyword in it. But this way, when someone goes to your URL, like on Facebook, an image is going to pop up. So you definitely want to include an image on that home page. All right, so those are the pages. We talked about, you know, setting the different fonts throughout the whole website. This will, you know, just go through each of these buttons, website settings. Um, you can add a shopping cart here. This is your blog area. So go through each of those. And this is really important here. Get familiar with that. That's adding text. That's a whole banner that we said, you know, um, these are done in banners. Let me see. I think I hit text there. So let me hit banner here. And these are all different banners that you can set. Um, you know, you just go through each of them, get familiar with, you know, different types of banners that they have. All right. And there's a ton of them. This will all take time, but you don't have to do any of that right now, truthfully. So I've set a banner here. What I can do is go click it, erase it and go back. So this is my banner. If I don't like the image, right click it, change the appearance. I have the ability to make it short, this whole banner, lengthwise. I like lengthwise, so I'm not guessing. So it's the same on different browsers. A way to change the image, just upload it here under images. Way to change a background. And we don't have a background here because the whole thing is image. But if you wanted just to do like a bat, like a color, you would be able to do it there. And then, you know, just again, you have to play with this, but go down to shadows and stuff. All right. So we've talked about fonts. We've talked about changing images. We're going to go straight down. You need to configure this. No more, right? Well, where is this button going? Let's click on it. it we can change the text. We can change the appearance, the colors, if you wanted to do that. Um, you could delete it if you don't want the button at all. You could change. You could set the action. Action allows you to describe where this will go. After you hit that, do you want to send to About Us or do you want to send to the page services talking about the different services that you're doing? So you could, you know, set that up. Coming down here, change the image. You don't want a limousine. So you just, um, you can either delete it and add an image from over here or you could just change an image from this section here. Any of these can be changed. The text, as I mentioned to you before, you can add this whole thing, like say you wanted to do like a transparent image on top of this. This whole thing could just be, let me get rid of this. You can add an image, go down, add an image, add it. You could right click it. You can hit transparency and you make it transparent. You know, so there's lots of different things that you can do as far as, um, you know, using Builderall. Then you would just confirm. We're not going to do that right now. All right, let's get rid of this. Right click it. Let's go down. Change this here. I don't like it. I want to put the image here. I want to put the text there. Change the image or types. Anything you want to do. You want to move the button around. Fine. 
um, come down to this section, you don't like it with all these icons, you can do it a if you're doing a light image, you want to do darker icons. If you don't want to do icons at all, remember you have to configure them, right? If you want to send them different places. But the bottom line is if you don't like this, get rid of this whole banner. Now when you do that, you have an empty spot. So remember that you need to um, click here and bring this whole banner up. And the same thing, everything below um, is going to be have to be brought up, or you can just replace it with a whole nother banner. You can create banners in um, like this image size going across this. Consider it like about a thousand. This here is probably mm, roughly looking at it. Maybe well, it's actually the images here if you want to take a look at it and measure it out. I was going to say about six hundred, but you can create a whole image in um, Canva and then bring it in as well. That would be another way of doing this. All right, um, same thing here because we have that space. You just want to bring it all up. You can change this all. You can change the colors of it. Appearance, if I wanted to, here's the gray. If I wanted to do yellow, which I probably don't want to do, but here you go. That's how you do that, all right? So it's really easy if you want to, you know, you don't want to do these. Just get rid of them, right? Say you want to just do two. Just, um, and you want to make it bigger. You'd have to make everything bigger as well, but that's how you would do that. And this, all right, so you just have to play around with it is the bottom line. You want to get rid of the dead space, um, change the image again, contact us. You have to set this, you'll configure. We can do that in another video. I don't, there's two ways of doing this. I like to Truthfully, you can do this. I find it more complicated. So really what I do is I get rid of this. I add my own email box in, email marketing form. And all of this can be changed. You know, just pick out one that you want to use, email marketing form, and then just change it up. Um, you can do that. What are your other choices here? Um, what I want to talk to you about is um, banners, boxes, buttons, images, galleries, menus, social media. That would be those over there. You can change that. Contact forms, email marketing forms we just covered. Um, what else? Apps themselves you should be a little familiar with. HTML code if you wanted to add like a YouTube video. There's also an option to add video over here. A buy button if you did a webinar. There's a webinar section. You can throw a webinar right into your, your home page so that it would, you know, you get the HTML code and it'll bring you to the webinar. E-learning, same thing. You can set up a platform. You can put it on any page that you want. There's also websites dedicated to like membership areas and courses that you can use. You can put it in another, um, like a subdomain. If you guys have questions, just reach out. I'll certainly answer that. Um, and then you would connect it, you know, maybe, maybe through the navigation bar up above or through um, a box that says, you know, go to my courses. If you're a restaurant, you could use open table. So say um, back to the email checkout, let's say um, email marketing form. You will get an email marketing form. And change it over here. It's too long. It says to configure. So what we can do here is just make this shorter. Right? Throw that in. That doesn't look good here. We could move this around, move this around. I don't like this royalty free. We'll just get rid of it. You need to configure it. And then you have your mailing boss set up, or you can put it onto one of these. I have mailing boss, so that's already configured. And then I, my list comes up because I already had lists. Those are on video, other videos as well, how to create a list in mailing boss. Mailing boss is the, um, how do I say it, like the autoresponder for Builderall. 
So that's in another video, but that's basically how you would go ahead and configure it so that everybody that signs here will go to one of my lists that I've already set up. All right. So, and then if you want to change the appearance, you know, you can change the buttons, you can change the appearance colors. These are all things that, you know, you can do as far as really personalizing your website. You can add your logos here. It says an image. Um, lots of things that you can do. And other videos I can talk about as far as the whole background of a banner, you can make that into a video. And it looks pretty neat when somebody's scrolling through to see like a video going. And then that's just a background. It's not like a video that you would click on or anything, but then you can have like an email, uh, even this section here, if you wanted to do like an email setup. You can have like, um, you know, basically some text that and then the whole thing as a video background. It looks pretty cool. I'll do that in another video. All right. So that's it for today. It's really quick. Get familiar with it. You, we'll do a blog in another video. All right. As far as setting up a blog, but I strongly encourage that you have a blog on your website. It's a great way to increase search engine optimization, and you should be putting quality information out content on a regular basis. So the people come back regularly to your blog and your website. All right. All right. I hope that this has helped and we'll see you guys in another the video. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. You'll get more videos like this. Have a great day. Thanks so much.